Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and due to an unfortunate circumstance while well, me trying to film a review on another toy, uh, Bumblebee broke in half. So, yeah, he got jazzed. Yeah, you know, ja anyway. I'm gonna be using this Bumblebee from now on as you saw at the beginning because this is just... Ugh. Anyways, today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the pickups I got from TFCon that I totally forgot to do a review on. And that is the Transformers Classics Universe Generations, whatever the hell line it's from, Power Glide, the Ultra Class version. And he doesn't want to stay upright. Stay upright. Stay up. Stay. Power Glide. And he is a, I think it's an A10 Warthog or an A10 Bomber. One of those two. A very stylized version of it with a, with a fist. There we go. And Grumble Gamer 18 wants to see my setup. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, um, this figure is really, 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 really cool. It, it It's old, but it is... It is still cool. It's big. I mean, it's about Voyager size. I don't have any Voyagers on hand. Here's a deluxe for comparison. And yeah, it, it's quite it's quite big for an airplane. So just getting in close here so you can see some of the details. You got a chain gun at the bottom, which I really do like. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means at all. Don't know what that means or that or that. There's no... None of it says Power Glide very cleverly like all the other generations figures, so I don't know. But a lot of nice sculpted detail and a lot of panels that would really benefit from panel lining, but I don't want to do that to this figure unless I buy a second one, which I probably won't ever do. But yeah, underside, there isn't really much robot kibble except for, you know, the trademark Power Glide arm thing going on there. Now, it does have lights and sounds when you push this button. Unfortunately, this was a used copy. So this right here, this little uh, battery thing, doesn't work because the uh, spring fell off and it wasn't there when I bought it. So I can't, unfortunately, I cannot make noise with this toy. But he would just shoot, make uh, thruster noises, and these would light up and whatnot. But yeah, he's he's an airplane. That That's pretty much it. I mean, you can readjust the tail fins if you want. You can bring them up if you want. You can bring them down, you can bring them all the way up, you can have them flat, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I like it like this because that looks most accurate. He does have landing gear with rolling wheels, one here and two here. These two have huge stress marks on them from the previous owner, so I am not going to fold them out. But yeah, and just for another comparison, because it's sitting here, here is the Master Grade Zeta Plus A1. So you can see... That Master Grades are Voyager figures. Anyway, to transform this guy, the uh, first thing you want to do is fold these wing flaps down and bring them up, just like that. And you want to come under here, unclip this section, or it'll unclip itself, and fold it up. Then take this, separate it, and bring it down, and fold this the rest of the way. It'll click into place, fold this down, flip up the head, rotate it. Fold this section down, the cockpit, and th that's it. Remove the chain gun, because you don't need that anymore. This will go into here, and that will go into there. And when this goes into that port, it makes a transformation noise. But again, no batteries, so it doesn't work. Ratchet the legs down. Bring the wings out. Flip that down. There is a tab right here that goes into a slot right there. Let me just move this up. So you just want to bend it, peg it in. Fold down the arm, push out the fist. There's an arm all done. So you just want to do the same thing on this side. As your desk wobbles because you have a new desk and you're trying to get used to it. These wings, stop wobbling desk. These wings don't peg in super solidly, so you got to be careful with that. Rotate the ratchet waist, split the legs, extend them down. Rotate them at the thigh, and fold out the feet. And there you have... Power Glide in his robot mode. And let me raise up the camera here. He looks cool. He looks... He, he's he got a very bulky upper body, if you notice there. Very bulky. Very, very skinny lower body. But anyway, I'm crooked. Still crooked. There we go. Just getting in close here on 
the head sculpt. Very Power Glide esque head sculpt. It looks very nice. You got the uh, faux cockpit right there on the front. I think that's pretty cool. Got a little antenna going on there. He does have a heart, which is pretty weird. Yeah. Um, got uh, the glowing, glowing nipples there. A lot of that gray unpainted plastic though, which is a little bit of a bummer. I would have liked to have seen more color on this, but there is a red one and there is a black one and I want to get both versions because those look great and I really do like this mold. But he does have some gunmetal there, some red, some more red, and that's about it for paint. Oh, and the red here and stuff from vehicle mode. He does have a handle, a convenient carrying handle, so, so you can, you know, carry this to work if you want. I don't know. Anyway, he does come with a minigun that normally does have a missile. But as you can see, there's no missile because I lost it. It's probably on my other desk somewhere, but you know what? I didn't really care for the missile anyways. And you can just plug it into his hand, and now he has a Gatling gun, which is pretty cool. Now, the waist has an issue where it comes undone a lot because this tab, not very secure. And these legs do shift up and down a lot because the locking tabs do wear out over time. I did take it apart to take a look, and it was the locking tabs have just shortened a little bit just due to this guy being transformed a lot. So that's another thing you want to watch out for. These wings don't peg in very solidly. They just fall out a lot. Other than that, that's really the only problems in robot mode I can I can find off the top of my head. Articulation wise, peg in. The head can swivel, just don't swivel it too much because there's wires in there. Shoulders, ratchet on a full 360, shoulders can go out. Bicep swivel, ratcheted elbow that bends 90 degrees, nothing at the wrists. Ratcheted waist joint, ratcheting hips. They can go out that far. Urgh. Thigh swivel, ratcheted knee bend, and the feet can go forward and back. And there's a little bit of t a pivot. So this guy is very poseable for an Ultra Class Universe figure. Now to make noise, you would push this back section here, but again, there's no noise. But yeah, oh well. For a comparison, here he is next to Skydive, and that's him next to Deluxe. So he does gain a uh, little bit of height in uh, robot mode, which is pretty cool. And here he is next to half a Bumblebee. But yeah, overall this figure is very, very cool, and I would recommend you get him. But this is probably the worst of the three versions because he's so plain looking. No pun intended because he turns into an airplane, but... He's very plain looking, and I wish, I wish that the uh, the red one was a lot more easily accessible because I know it wasn't, and the black one I wish I'd seen it at TFCon because I would have totally picked that up. But overall, this guy's pretty cool, and I would highly recommend anyone pick it up. So that has been my look at the Transformers Universe. Stay tabbed in the Transformers Universe Generations Classics Sugar, whatever you want to call it, Power Glide. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.